it's a route discontinuity and what happened is because we on this page because we selected the runway the FMC is just telling us that you know do you want to go ahead and confirm this change so what we need to do is we need to just close the disco we need to get rid of this selection right here uh, the RX 25 right and replace it with this so we're just gonna put that into our scratch pad and put that right here and we go ahead and execute now at this point in time we're getting pretty close to where we need to be uh, we're making very good headway we're just leveling off at 8,000 feet and we're dropping our altitude down to I'm sorry our speed down to 170 because that's where we're going to need to be so let me go ahead and pause the sim real quick and the only reason I paused it is because I want to get all these waypoints put in so our next one is FLICR so we're going to go over to the FMC and go ahead and punch that in uh, Oops, it would help if I spell that right And once again, it's giving me a route discontinuity because I made an error. I put this intersection after the runway, which is incorrect. It needs to go uh, before the runway. So let's just put this into our scratch pad. Hit the previous page. Uh, I'm sorry. And then just not the previous page, but we want to stick the scratch pad contents into where the runway information is. Okay. And now, uh, and now it makes sense. And let's go ahead and do that with the rest of our waypoints with Hoko Kondi. And that's uh, that's the last one. So go ahead and plug those figures in. And if you plugged everything in correctly, or in, uh, correctly rather, this is roughly what it should look like. And now we just need to pre-fill these really quickly with our um, altitude assignments. So we'll know that the flies intersection we have to be at at least 8,000 feet so let's go ahead and just plug that in really quickly our FMC is calculating quite a bit less but that's that's fine and we'll just change that to uh, 8,000 and then flicker we need to be at about 6,500 so let's go ahead and put in 6,500 in there and then Hawk we need to be uh, there's no altitude there but Cody or Condi rather does have one of 3,800 we're probably gonna be much lower than that because like I said at, you know by this point in the game you're definitely going to be using the ILS approach procedure and I can assume that the glide slope is going to put you down below 3,800 when you're just really four miles away from the runway. Somewhere along the line here I inadvertently de deleted or removed our approach runway so I just need to put that back in there and if we look at our approach chart that looks that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and unpause the sim and see what else we have to do here to make sure that we're meeting our altitude restrictions and to be honest from the looks of it everything that does look pretty good uh, we're about six and a half miles before we hit chips and at that point we're gonna need to start uh, decelerating the aircraft to around a hundred and and seventy knots so let me just enlarge this real quick Good. Things are looking well. 
we're uh, just over 15 miles away from chips at which point we're just going to do a, a complete 180 and we're going to line ourselves up with the runway and now I'm making a left hand turn and we're just going to be going into Prino everything looks good at this point in the game I disconnected the VNAV and I'm just going to manage to speed myself at this point. I'm dropping it down to about 190 knots. So I'll go ahead and uh, set flap 1. And I, wait, I will wait for the glide slope and the localizer to come alive. And as we continue to turn, uh, you will see that the localizer is in fact has come al has come alive and we're getting ourselves lined up with it so that's always a good sign indicating that everything was programmed properly I don't have the glide slope up yet probably because we're uh, still a fairly good distance away I need to cross my next intersection at 6,500 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and whoops, change the altitude on the MCP to 6,500 and hit level change and we'll start descending. And you'll notice that the glide slope has now come alive. And we're just, just below it. And we're going to we're going to drop a little farther. So since I'm getting closer, what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect now nav, and I'm going to hit the VOR lock, and, and at this point in time, the autopilot is going to line me up precisely with the with the localizer. We're going to do a full autopilot land here, just because it's a lot easier to do in this particular tutorial. So I'm going to wait until I drop down to 6,500 feet. Glide slope is increasing a little bit, so that means that we're going to be just below it. Just going to wait for us to level off. And once I level off at 6,500 feet, I'm going to hit approach hold and I'm going to kick in the second autopilot and now the autopilot is going to fully configure our landing of course I do want to slow myself down a little bit because I am coming in way too fast If you open up the FMC and you go into your initial reference page, you will notice that you have flap settings and their associated speeds. So we're just going to go in here real quick and we're going to select that we're going to be doing a flap 40 landing. And what that's going to do is it's going to place a little bug right here our little reference bug on our speed tape so that's our reference marker we want to be just above that anything below that will stall out so I'm um, go ahead and retracting the flaps so we can get our speed down the autopilot is now fully managing our descent Okay, we're at flap 15. Okay, flap 25. Flap 30. I'm just going to bring our speed down just a little.